It's excellence. Really, full stop. Being able to, to make something by hand that's beautiful, enduring, and, and as near perfect as you can get it. And, uh, they're beautiful, and I love making stuff that endures. My name is Gerald L. Hunsucker. I'm a woodworker. I first got exposed to woodworking when I was in the ninth grade in my shop class. After that year was over, I never picked it up again. Life took me in different directions. I went into the service, I became a martial artist, I was a musician, you know, I just did a lot of different things. And then I remembered how much I liked woodworking. So about four years ago, I picked it up again. I decided that I wanted to build furniture, but I realized I was not a good enough woodworker to do it. So I thought, oh well, I'll build boxes, because that's going to be easy, right? There's nothing harder in the world to build than a box. Nothing. Woodworking teaches you patience whether you want to be patient or not. And I am not a patient man, but I have become one. And it's because of woodworking. Nice and tight, it's just the way you want it. If you take joinery to the level of an art, then it becomes a, a beautiful thing. Even when you know how to do it, it's extraordinarily difficult to get it right. You know, when you want to get something really accurate, you can't get it with a machine, not, not like this. If you get in a hurry, it's a given, you're gonna mess it up. And there's an old saying, you know, you've probably heard it, measure twice, cut once. Yeah, even sometimes that doesn't work. Well, they're never perfect, are they? It just depends on how serious you are about wanting to get it right, how patient you are, and, and how willing you are to take a step yeah. back. You can't just jump in and do it. You've got to be willing to put the work in to the tools and learn how to do that well before you can even approach the wood. What you're seeing here, these very, very small areas here, that's the hallmark of the hand cut dovetail. Machines can't do that. The best thing about woodworking is that you get it's not like doing a form in Kung Fu. It's not like playing a song on a guitar. Those are over and done with, they're gone. But when you build something out of wood, especially if it's really well built, it's gonna be there. It's gonna always be there. Hey, I think we're there. If you decide to do something, you know, like at one point in my life I decided it was going to be martial arts, at one point it was going to be music, now it's woodworking. But that same core values that I've always had, that to me is the warrior's way. The warrior's way is to strive for excellence and to be the best person you can be. It's a way of life for me, and now it's being applied to woodworking. <laughs>